Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of internet video and I'll talk about Starlink satellite internet pricing in Canada. If this is your first time or a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new, new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, you may want to subscribe this channel. If you're looking for more internet tips and tricks videos, there'll be links in the description box below. Starlink is a satellite internet provider developed by Elon Musk's private spaceflight company SpaceX. Starlink offers high-speed broadband internet using low Earth orbit satellites. So I'm going to take a look at the Starlink website and we'll check uh, what's the pricing options in Canada. So the information provided today is going to be as of recording this video, uh, which is uh, June 2022. So if you're uh, watching this video later on, you may want to double check uh, you know, uh, their website, which is www.starlink.com for updated pricing. And this is not a paid or affiliated uh, review. All my reviews or videos are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. So Starlink now covers uh, some parts of Canada and I wanted to see what's the res residential and RV uh, internet pricing. So when you go to their website, which is right here, starlink.com, then you know, it's going to give you an address section. So you have to enter your address to ch see that you know, whether your area has covered uh, to get internet pricing. So here you'll see some other information. For example, you're going to see that, you know, uh, what type of internet and what's the benefits and how to set up uh, information like that. And then, uh, you know, it tells you that, you know, it doesn't interfere with the sky or it keeps the space clean. So you're going to find information like that. So if you uh, enter your address on the price section, so which is right here. So I entered a residential uh, price section. And you can see that uh, in Canada, uh, the hardware costs about 759 Canadian dollars and shipping and handling is uh, $65. And the tax is $107.12. And, and the service per month is $140. And then you have another service tax for $18.20. So this is the total cost uh, you know, the first time. So after that, the recurring cost would be um, $140 plus 1820 so this is only if you're uh, at a fixed address or if you are a residential customer now let's take a look at their uh, RV internet uh, which is you know uh, also uh, you can move and you can have internet anywhere where they have coverage so it looks like everything is almost the same 750 here 65 here taxes here so the difference is right here, 170 per month, uh, and we had before 140 per month. So it looks like they, they're charging uh, $30 more for RV internet. So basically, it's just giving you a slightly higher service tax per month. So let's say if you're uh, getting internet from an RV, or if you'd like mobile internet, then you have to pay almost $200 per month. But uh, initially, your cost is going to be about 931 Canadian dollars, so which is close to 1,000 Canadian dollars to start with. And for residential, uh, looks like you know you can start with 129 dollars at the first time, and then you can pay the rest later on. So now here you can see that the Starlink expects to expand service in your area 2023. So basically, they are looking to. Uh, provide more area or they're trying to uh, bring more area into coverage and you can click their map and then you can see that they have a nice map here where you can see that you know which part uh, has coverage and which part uh, doesn't so let me just uh, look at it here so as you can see here they have the whole United States coverage and then in Canada they have only the southern part of Canada uh, undercover and uh, if they have other parts for example they have you know a chunk of europe and then you have the lower part parts of australia and they have looks like the full new zealand and i don't see anything in asia yet but looks like it's underway so they have you know asian uh, some parts in uh, uh, which is going to be in the future uh, and then these area uh, I, I don't think they have any coverage or any plan to cover in the future or yet so basically, this is their, you know, internet map, which is available online. So 
what happened is that uh, in the past, uh, the Canadians living in the rural areas or like, you know, who are uh, living in some of these areas, it was very hard to get satellite internet and some of the satellite internets which are currently providing internet, they don't even have reliable and good coverage. So since the Starlink came in, uh, the internet quality has gone up a lot and, you know, you can have stable internet. And other thing is... Uh, Starlink provides unlimited. Uh, there is no like you know limit, but I, I heard that you know other internet provide, providers they give you a limit. So like, for example, you cannot say per use per month. Like, uh, let's say more than 100, 500 gig or two hundred gig. This is just an example number. It's not real. I'm just making this up. But uh, Starlink provides unlimited data, so which is a very good thing. So basically, you are at home. You are looking at hundred forty plus almost 20 so 160 dollars per month in canada and you are in a mobile then you're looking at close to 200 dollars per month in canada so that's how or that's the charges for having a satellite internet provided by starlink thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you